Then we're going to add inventory to your products on Maha Mushrooms. If we're going to go ahead and look at the actual products here, whatever, let's look at your supplements. And then you've got your different supplements, right? So each it says select options. So each of these has a drop down, right? It's called a variant. So if you look at this, it says choose um, option, right? An option. So here's 90. Even, <clears throat> even though if you had more, it, you'd have more drop downs here, right? So let me see if I can find the product that has multiple sizes. Here we go. Maybe this one. Here we go. So this one has uh, 60 and then 120, right? So the first thing what I would do is I'd log into the admin. I'll go ahead and look for this product, right? So I'll go here, I'll log in. Go to products, all products, and I'll just type it up here, paste it. Search, and it's gonna find Cordyceps C+. Plus. So I pulled up a bunch of stuff here. So here it is right here. Now, let this thing load. I'm gonna scroll down. And if you look at this, it's a variable product. So I need to make my changes for inventory here. Variations, right? So if you look at this and you click on inventory, it says enable stock management at the product level. That would be like, if you wanted to just control, like say you had 25 variations, like 80 pills, 120 pills, whatever, and you had one inventory amount, like 100, then you could just put, check it here. But you actually have inventory amounts for each individual size. So you want to go to the variations, and then you go ahead and just click on the bar next to the name, and you're going to say manage stock right here. And then you're going to go ahead and put in your stock quantity. So maybe one, two, three, whatever, right? Once you're finished, okay, you're finished, you just scroll down and you click on save changes. And then the last thing you're going to do is click on update. So to do the next one, so if you look at this, you just did that, did that change. That was only if you're going to change inventory for one item, but if you're going to go here and do two, you just scroll down, you do, you know, you put in manage stock, put in your inventory amount, five, six, seven, say there's five, four, whatever. Then you collapse it, and then you click on this to expand it, and then you do the same thing, manage stock. So you have to manage stock for each variation, otherwise it's not going to track it. So this one may have two. So now you'll have two of the 120, and I'll click on this one, and I'll have four of that one. Once I'm finished, I'll collapse both of them, select save changes, and then go to update, and you're done. So I'm going to take those out of there. Take this one out of here. I didn't save anything, so it shouldn't save anything. So that's it.